let's dig in in the pool. <laughs> Welcome to Sri Lanka, we're Luke and Sabrina, and today we are in Weli Gama. We're still in our quarantine. If you wanna know more about that, check out the previous episode, but today we have an exciting luxury episode for you from the beautiful hotel called Cape Weli Gama. We're gonna be having a chef's table dining experience, showing you the 12 acre beautiful property, showing you our incredible pool villa. It's gonna be a great episode. We have a lot planned, so make sure you stay tuned until the end. We're gonna go grab lunch lunch here at Cape Willy Gama's restaurant known as Tableau, so let's go. For lunch, we've come to Tableau. This is Cape Willy Gama's uh, chef's table style restaurant. We have a private chef here. He's gonna be cooking us a six course meal. I am super excited. We have. Uh, incredible views as well. So it's gonna be kind of a Sri Lankan fusion uh, high end. I'm really excited. Thank you. So we're starting with some champagne that's actually been infused with a lot of different Sri Lankan spices. I can definitely smell some Ceylon cinnamon. Oh wow. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. Tons of different things, nice and bubbly. First course is served. This is an arancini, so uh, it's actually stuffed with some curry leaves, there's coconut, and some mushrooms as well. That looks absolutely beautiful. Mm. Super, super crunchy. Definitely uh, similar to an Italian arancini, but this one's got that coconut flavor going on there, and a little bit of uh, curry flavor as well. That's so crispy, yum. Second course is the curried lobster. This looks, wow, just incredible. The presentation is just so beautiful. Let me try that. Mm. That is so soft. Just a slight hint of curry, but it's cooked perfectly. It's a little bit more firm on the inside but then so soft on the outside. So we've also got a rosé from the south of France that's uh, nice to pair with all these Sri Lankan fusion dishes. Mm. He told me that uh, the grapes are grown in almost like a clay-like soil, so he said you can kind of taste the limestone. I think it just tastes like wine, but I don't know if I can taste any limestone. So next course, we've got some uh, bread. It's almost like a brioche, but actually it's been uh, topped and kind of infused with a little bit of dried fish, which is very Sri Lankan. And then we've got some uh, paprika butter over here. Paprika butter, that sounds really interesting. So I'll try that first. Mm -hmm. It's actually very light. Usually dried fish is strong, but actually, it's not overpowering, the bread is so soft too, and then you get a little bit of that hint of spice from the paprika. We've also got a soup here, which is a sweet potato soup with this little kind of bread stick and um, beetroot crumble. So I'm gonna try the soup, it looks extremely thick. Mm. Oh, that is phenomenal. Very, very, very thick, almost like a cream and then nice and sweet, you can taste the potato. Yeah, that's good. This is a fried barramundi fish with a white wine emulsion and a little bit of a Mexican salsa on top and some bok choy with basil. And I'm gonna get a little bit of everything if I can. This smells so good. Mm. Oh wow, that works really well. And the Mexican element there. A little bit of sweet corn on top and the bean. It's actually got a hint of spice and then that uh, creamy white wine emulsion. That barramundi is just ridiculously tender. Tender doesn't even describe it. Wow, that might be my favorite one so far.
look at this beauty. We've got a uh, Black Angus Australian tenderloin beef steak with a stuffed okra stuffed with jackfruit seed. A little bit of couscous with beetroot and then a uh, pumpkin butter, butternut pumpkin uh, puree. Oh man, that is absolutely <laughs> ridiculously soft. Wow. And also the juice is of truffle. Wow. It's been a long time since I've had a steak that good. It is ridiculously tender, perfectly medium rare. And then you get that nice kind of earthy truffle flavor. But what I'm really interested in trying is this, the stuffed okra with the jackfruit seed. Mmm. Crunchy. A little bit fruity. Yeah. Thank you. So this is dessert. It is really disguised as a coconut, but this is actually just a chocolate that's been shaped like that. It's stuffed with coconut mousse, topped with some uh, pineapple, and looks like I'm gonna be able to break this in half, I think. Oh wow, <laughs> look at that. That is incredible. Oh, I gotta use my fingers to break this off. Okay, let's try that out. Yeah, it's like a subtle coconut flavor, tangy pineapple, a sweet chocolate. It's served nice and cold too. And it's very uh, confusing because it actually looked like a baby coconut. I honestly thought it was. Yeah, that's really good. Wow, what a meal. I am so happily full. <laughs> Everything was good. The chef was incredible. Yes. Sri Lanka really has a lot of luxury options like this and yep. we haven't experienced it until now and it's just, Mind-blowing, Mind it's blowing. so nice. So yep. we're actually gonna go check out one of the private beaches here at Cape Williama. The property here at Cape Welligama is absolutely stunning. There's 12 acres, there's two beaches, all kinds of other facilities, and it's so well manicured. You have these gorgeous walking paths, and we are making our way to the West Beach now. privacy the water is so blue and the waves are splashing this is absolutely gorgeous wow So Sabrina and I are staying in the ocean pool villa here at Cape Waligama. We're starting the room tour out on the terrace, but let me show you inside. All right, so we have this beautiful villa indoor area. This is a standalone villa, and we have a king size bed with a nice lounger here. And let me show you the bathroom. It's really something special. This is probably the biggest bathroom, definitely the biggest bathroom I've ever had in a hotel. And we've got a steam room as well as a shower, of course massive bathtub. It's so gorgeous. All of the products too, the amenities are all organic handmade here in Sri Lanka. Everything is just top notch quality. There are 13 different pools here at Cape Welligama and the piece de resistance of this ocean pool villa is our own private pool. So from the master bedroom, you are overlooking the infinity pool, which then overlooks the Indian ocean. This is the most beautiful room I've ever seen in my life. And I'm definitely going for a swim. This ocean pool villa has the most incredible panoramic view. You can see the waves down on the coast and it's not just out front. You also have the ocean on the other side and then you have jungle. It's so private. There's 12 acres and only 39 rooms here. So it's really, really private. This is heaven. Wow.
green chilies, okay. A little spicy? Yes. Yeah, okay. Beautiful color. So Cape Welligama set up this beautiful bar right at their uh, sunset lookout. This one's called Lookout Blue. There's a couple different lookouts here, all named after the different types of whales that frequent this region. And uh, he's made us the Salinese cocktail. And this is a cocktail using green chilies, apple juice, and the liquor is Iraq. So I've got it right here. And uh, I don't think it's gonna be too spicy. Let's try it out though. Windy. <laughs> a little bit sour, a little bit sweet. Yeah, I guess I can taste a little bit of a spiciness and you get that kind of licorice uh, flavor from the Iraq. What a beautiful view. That is a tasty cocktail, too. Wow. We've got a couple little appetizers here, too. Uh, some veggie stuff here. We've got beetroot and then this one's with tuna, and I think I'm going to go in for that one. Look at that. Nice medium rare tuna. Mm. And with the cocktail, that's so good. Oh really? With some brown sugar. Okay. <laughs> it's up. Oh yeah. Next drink is called Pot Kalara and he used a uh, Sri Lankan dark rum and he caramelized some brown sugar on top of a pineapple and uh, a couple other things of course in there. Let me try the pineapple first. Wow. It literally tastes just like caramel with pineapple. A little bit crunchy because of the way that he seared it. Let's try the drink. So there's uh, Malibu white rum and dark rum in this as well as some pineapple juice. Oh man, yum. That one is strong and definitely more on the sweet side compared to the last one. The sun's starting to go down. This is an experience of a lifetime, incredible views.
The nature here at Cape Weligam is quite intense. There's lots of different animals. It's almost like a nature sanctuary here. There's lots of birds, lots of lizards. There's even apparently some porcupines because we found this big porcupine quill. And the views of the Indian Ocean crashing against the Cape is absolutely stunning. 270 degree views. You just get so many nice photo opportunities. And we have a very special breakfast. We're going to be having a floating breakfast here in our private pool. And the first step is getting this into the pool without it tipping over. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh. Is it gonna float? I don't know. Whoa, is that gonna float? Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> Loading breakfast. We have our floating breakfast now, and this is kind of a gimmicky thing that you can do in Sri Lanka. It's kind of more for the pictures rather than actually eating in a pool. It's gonna be rather difficult, um, but it's par all part of the experience. So let me introduce what we have here. We have two baskets, bread basket, some jams, fruit platter, uh, a breakfast burrito, king coconut water, and then over here, we have an egg skillet with chorizo and potatoes, another platter of fruit, and then another bread basket. So this looks really incredible. Let's dig in, in the pool. <laughs> Honestly, it's working a lot better than I thought it was going to and uh, all the food's really, really delicious. What do you think of this? I said it was gimmicky, but to be honest, I am really enjoying <laughs> my floating breakfast. So I take that back. This is awesome. I highly recommend. Oh no! Crash. Major tip for the floating breakfast, keep your uh, hands dry as you get in the pool. Otherwise, uh, you're gonna be eating with some wet hands. And also it's very difficult to not get any crumbs in the pool. So our plan now is to have some afternoon tea. Sri Lanka is famous for their Ceylon tea. So we're gonna go have a high tea. Potentially the best view is here at the Crescent Pool. You can actually watch surfers down on the waves below the Cape. And this is where we're sitting down to have our uh, high tea, our afternoon tea. So we have a special tea here called Ranwate tea. And this is a single region Ceylon tea from a very high elevation here in Sri Lanka. And Ceylon tea is world famous. And this is the most exclusive tea because it just comes from one small estate. And uh, we've got a cup of it here it looks beautifully almost brown bronze orange color and this is from the tea brand Dilma so let's give it a try mm. yum yeah a little bit uh, kind of bitter but also at the same time really earthy and it almost tastes a little coffee like mm, like a very watered down black coffee but also fruity at the same time. That's really good tea. And we've also got an incredible uh, stack of different treats. We've got some scones, we've got some desserts, and then we've got some savories on the bottom. And the view though is really what's making this place so incredible. I'm gonna try out this uh, scone here and we've got this yellow clotted cream and jam and the British influence here in Sri Lanka is obviously quite strong. Uh, from their colonization period and let me open this up and I've never had yellow clotted cream like this before Put a little bit of that a little bit of jam. Oh, that's gonna be good mm. oh. The pastries here at K. Wellyama 
are really fresh. They're made in-house. You get that nice uh, creamy clotted cream flavor. Chase it down with a little bit of Ceylon. Oh man, that tea is phenomenal. It pairs perfectly with that. It's like the quintessential black tea, like concentrated black tea flavor. Mm. You gotta have some savories when you're having an afternoon tea. And check this out. This is a lobster croquette and you can see part of the claw sticking right out of the top. It's nice and crispy. Let's give that one a try. Mm. Oh wow. Oh wow. That is very, very Sri Lankan in flavor. It is infused with a ton of different spices and just a slight hint of lobster in there. Perfect for ocean views. So you gotta have the seafood while you're here. I'm also going in for this beetroot crusted chicken sandwich, which sounds really interesting. And beetroot has been a really common ingredient that we've been seeing a lot in Sri Lanka while we've been here. So let's give it a try. Oh yeah, wow. It's like a beetroot cream all across the top. And then it's like a chicken pate sandwich inside. Mm. That was an amazing afternoon tea and this hotel Cape Weligama has been incredible and I actually forgot that we were in quarantine still. So if you guys want to know more about the quarantine, check out our previous episode where we explain more about that. And I want to say a huge thank you to the uh, government of Sri Lankan tourism board for inviting us here to visit beautiful Sri Lanka. It's such an amazing country and such a beautiful hotel. Definitely consider trying a luxury night or two on your visit to Sri Lanka. Make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified and we'll see you guys on the next episode of Chopstick Travel. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.